UTF-16 16-bit Unicode transformation format is a character encoding capable of encoding all 1,112,064 valid code points of Unicode. The encoding is variable length, as code points are encoded with one or two 16-bit code units also see comparison of Unicode encodings for a comparison of UTF-8, minus 16 and minus 32. UTF-16 arose from an earlier fixed-width 16-bit encoding known as UCS-2 for 2-byte universal character set once it became clear that more than 216 code points were needed, UTF-16 is used internally by systems such as Windows and Java and by JavaScript, and often for plain text and for word processing data files on Windows. It is rarely used for files on Unix, Linux or Mac OS. It never gained popularity on the web, where UTF-8 is dominant and the mandatory Unicode encoding. UTF-16 is used by under 0.01% of web pages themselves. WHATWG recommends that for security reasons browser apps should not use UTF-16. Topic history In the late 1980s, work began on developing a uniform encoding for a «universal character set» UCS that would replace earlier language-specific encodings with one coordinated system. The goal was to include all required characters from most of the world's languages, as well as symbols from technical domains such as science, mathematics, and music. The original idea was to replace the typical 256 character encodings requiring one byte per character with an encoding using 216 equals 65536 values requiring two bytes per character. Two groups worked on this in parallel, the IEEE and the Unicode Consortium, the latter representing mostly manufacturers of computing equipment. The two groups attempted to synchronize their character assignments so that the developing encodings would be mutually compatible. The early 2-byte encoding was usually called Unicode, but is now called UCS2. UCS2 differs from UTF-16 by being a constant length encoding and only capable of encoding characters of BMP. It is supported by many programs. Early in this process it became increasingly clear that 216 characters would not suffice, and IEEE introduced a larger 31-bit space and an encoding UCS4 that would require 4 bytes per character. This was resisted by the Unicode Consortium, both because 4 bytes per character wasted a lot of disk space and memory, and because some manufacturers were already heavily invested in 2 byte per character technology. The UTF-16 encoding scheme was developed as a compromise to resolve this impasse in version 2.0 of the Unicode standard in July 1996 and is fully specified in RFC 2781 published in 2000 by the IETF. In UTF-16, code points greater or equal to 216 are encoded using two 16-bit code units. The standards organizations chose the largest block available of unallocated 16-bit code points to use as these code units. Unlike UTF-8 they did not provide a means to encode these code points. UTF-16 is specified in the latest versions of both the International Standard ISO, IEC 10646 and the Unicode Standard. UCS2 should now be considered obsolete. It no longer refers to an encoding form in either 10646 or the Unicode standard. There are no plans to extend UTF-16 to support a higher number of code points, or the codes replaced by surrogates, as allocating code points for this would violate the Unicode stability policy with respect to general category and or surrogate code points. An example idea would be to allocate another BMP value to prefix a triple of low, low, high surrogates the order swapped so that it cannot match a surrogate pair in searches, allowing 230 more code points to be encoded, but changing the purpose of a code point is disallowed using no prefix is also not allowed as two of these characters next to each other would match a surrogate pair. Topic. Description Topic. U plus O O O O to U plus D seven F F and U plus E O O O to U plus F F F F. Both UTF sixteen and UCS two encode code points in this range as single sixteen bit code units that are numerically equal to the corresponding code points. These code points in the basic multilingual plane (BMP) are the only code points that can be represented in UCS two. As of Unicode 9.0 some modern non-Latin Asian, Middle Eastern and African scripts fall outside this range, as do most emoji characters. 
Topic U plus O one O O O O to U plus one O F F F F Code points from the other planes called supplementary planes are encoded as two 16-bit code units called a surrogate pair, by the following scheme. Hexadecimal 10000 is subtracted from the code point, leaving a 20-bit number in the range hexadecimal 000 hexadecimal fffff. The high 10 bits in the range hexadecimal 000 hexadecimal 3ff are added to hexadecimal D800 to give the first 16-bit code unit or high surrogate, which will be in the range hexadecimal D800 hexadecimal DBFF. The low 10 bits also in the range hexadecimal 000 hexadecimal 3ff are added to hexadecimal DC00 to give the second 16-bit code unit or low surrogate, which will be in the range hexadecimal DC00 hexadecimal DFFF. The high surrogate and low surrogate are also known as leading and trailing surrogates, respectively, analogous to the leading and trailing bytes of UTF-8, since the ranges for the high surrogates hexadecimal D800 hexadecimal DBFF, low surrogates hexadecimal D C00 hexadecimal DFFF, and valid BMP characters hexadecimal 0000 hexadecimal D7FF, hexadecimal E000 hexadecimal FFFF are disjoint. It is not possible for a surrogate to match a BMP character, or for two adjacent code units to look like a legal surrogate pair. This simplifies searches a great deal. It also means that UTF-16 is self-synchronizing on 16-bit words, whether a code unit starts a character can be determined without examining earlier code units i.e. the type of code unit can be determined by the ranges of values in which it falls. UTF-8 shares these advantages, but many earlier multi-byte encoding schemes such as Shift-Gs and other Asian multi-byte encodings did not allow unambiguous searching and could only be synchronized by re-parsing from the start of the string UTF-16 is not self-synchronizing if one byte is lost or if traversal starts at a random byte. Because the most commonly used characters are all in the BMP, handling of surrogate pairs is often not thoroughly tested. This leads to persistent bugs and potential security holes, even in popular and well-reviewed application software e.g. CVE-2008-2938, CVE-2012-2135. The supplementary planes contain emoji, historic scripts, less used symbols, less used Chinese ideographs, etc. Since the encoding of supplementary planes contains 20 significant bits 10 of 16 bits in each of the high and low surrogates, 220 code points can be encoded, divided into 16 planes of 216 code points each. Including the separately handled basic multilingual plane, there are a total of 17 planes. U plus D800 to U plus DFFF The Unicode standard permanently reserves these code point values for UTF-16 encoding of the high and low surrogates, and they will never be assigned a character, so there should be no reason to encode them. The official Unicode standard says that no UTF forms, including UTF-16, can encode these code points. However UCS-2, UTF-8, and UTF-32 can encode these code points in trivial and obvious ways, and large amounts of software does so even though the standard states that such arrangements should be treated as encoding errors. It is possible to unambiguously encode an unpaired surrogate a high surrogate code point not followed by a low one, or a low one not preceded by a high one in UTF-16 by using a code unit equal to the code point. The majority of UTF-16 encoder and decoder implementations do this then when translating between encodings. Windows allows unpaired surrogates in filenames and other places, which generally means they have to be supported by software in spite of their exclusion from the Unicode standard. Examples <laughs> 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 To encode U plus 10437, to UTF-16, subtract hexadecimal 10000 from the code point, leaving hexadecimal 0437. For the high surrogate, shift right by 10 divide by hexadecimal 400, then add hexadecimal D800, resulting in hexadecimal 0001 plus hexadecimal D800 equals hexadecimal D801. 
For the low surrogate, take the low 10 bits remainder of dividing by hexadecimal 400, then add hexadecimal DC00, resulting in hexadecimal 0037 plus hexadecimal DC00 equals hexadecimal DC37, to decode U plus 10437. From UTF-16, take the high surrogate hexadecimal D801 and subtract hexadecimal D800, then multiply by hexadecimal 400, resulting in hexadecimal 0001 times hexadecimal 400 equals hexadecimal 0400. Take the low surrogate hexadecimal DC37 and subtract hexadecimal DC00, resulting in hexadecimal 37. Add these two results together, hexadecimal 0437, and finally add hexadecimal 10000 to get the final decoded UTF-32 code point, hexadecimal 10437. The following table summarizes this conversion, as well as others. The colors indicate how bits from the code point are distributed among the UTF-16 bytes. Additional bits added by the UTF-16 encoding process are shown in black. Topic. Byte order encoding schemes UTF-16 and UCS-2 produce a sequence of 16-bit code units. Since most communication and storage protocols are defined for bytes, and each unit thus takes two 8-bit bytes, the order of the bytes may depend on the endianness byte order of the computer architecture. To assist in recognizing the byte order of code units, UTF-16 allows a byte order mark bomb, a code point with the value U plus FEF, to precede the first actual coded value. U plus FEF is the invisible zero-width non-breaking space, ZWNBSP character. If the endian architecture of the decoder matches that of the encoder, the decoder detects the hexadecimal FEFF value, but an opposite endian decoder interprets the bomb as the non-character value U plus FE reserved for this purpose. This incorrect result provides a hint to perform byte swapping for the remaining values. If the bomb is missing, RFC 2781 says that big endian encoding should be assumed. In practice, due to Windows using little endian order by default, many applications similarly assume little endian encoding by default. It is also reliable to detect endianness by looking for null bytes, on the assumption that characters less than U plus 0100 are very common. If more even bytes starting at zero are null, then it is big endian. The standard also allows the byte order to be stated explicitly by specifying UTF-16BE or UTF-16LE as the encoding type. When the byte order is specified explicitly this way, a bomb is specifically not supposed to be prepended to the text, and a U plus FEF at the beginning should be handled as a ZWNBSP character. Most applications ignore a bomb in all cases despite this rule. For Internet protocols, YANA has approved UTF-16, UTF-16BE, and UTF-16LE as the names for these encodings the names are case insensitive. The aliases UTF-16 or UTF-16 may be meaningful in some programming languages or software applications, but they are not standard names in Internet protocols. Similar designations, UCS2BE and UCS2LE, are used to show versions of UCS2. Topic Usage UTF-16 is used for text in the OS API of all currently supported versions of Microsoft Windows and including at least all since Windows CE, 2000, XP, 2003, Vista, 7 including Windows 10 while since Insider Build 17035 and the April 2018 update, it has improved UTF-8 support in addition to UTF-16, see Unicode in Microsoft Windows Hashute-8, older Windows NT systems prior to Windows 2000 only support UCS2. In Windows XP, no code point above U plus FFFF is included in any font delivered with Windows for European languages. Files and network data tend to be a mix of UTF-16, UTF-8, and legacy byte encodings. IBM iSeries systems designate code page CCSID 13488 for UCS2 character encoding, CCSID 1200 for UTF-16 encoding, and CCSID 1208 for UTF-8 encoding. UTF-16 is used by the Qualcomm Brew operating systems, the .NET environments, and the Qt cross-platform graphical widget toolkit. 
Symbian OS used in Nokia S60 handsets and Sony Ericsson UIQ handsets uses UCS2. iPhone handsets use UTF16 for short message service instead of UCS2 described in the 3GPPTS 23.038 GSM and as 637 CDMA standards. The Joliet file system used in CD-ROM media encodes file names using UCS2BE up to 64 Unicode characters per file name. The Python language environment officially only uses UCS2 internally since version 2.0, but the UTF-8 decoder to Unicode produces correct UTF-16. Since Python 2.2 wide builds of Unicode are supported which use UTF-32 instead, these are primarily used on Linux. Python 3.3 no longer ever uses UTF-16, instead an encoding that gives the most compact representation for the given string is chosen from ASCII, Latin 1, UCS-2, and UTF-32. Java originally used UCS-2, and added UTF-16 supplementary character support in J2SE 5.0. JavaScript implementations may use UCS-2 or UTF-16. As of ES2015, string methods and regular expression flags have been added to the language that permit handling strings from an encoding agnostic perspective. In many languages, quoted strings need a new syntax for quoting non-BMP characters, as the C style UXXXX. syntax explicitly limits itself to four hex digits. The most common used by C++, C Sharp, D, and several other languages is to use an uppercase U with eight hex digits such as U0001D11E. In Java 7 regular expressions, ICU, and Perl, the syntax X1D11E must be used. Similarly, in ECMAScript 2015 JavaScript, the escape format is U1D11E. In many other cases, such as Java outside of regular expressions, the only way to get non-BMP characters is to enter the surrogate halves individually, for example, UD 834 UD1E for U plus 1D11E. String implementations based on UTF-16 typically return lengths and allow indexing in terms of code units, not code points. Neither code points nor code units correspond to anything an end user might recognize as a character. The things users identify as characters may in general consist of a base code point and a sequence of combining characters or be a sequence of code points of other kind. For example, Hangul conjoining homos. Unicode refers to this as a grapheme cluster, and as such, applications dealing with Unicode strings, whatever the encoding, have to cope with the fact that they cannot arbitrarily split and combine strings. UCS2 is supported by PHP and MySQL. Topic. See also Comparison of Unicode encodings Unicode Plain UTF-8 UTF-32 Topic. Notes Topic. References Topic. External links A very short algorithm for determining the surrogate pair for any code point Unicode Technical Note No. 12, UTF-16 for processing Unicode FAQ, what is the difference between UCS-2 and UTF-16? Unicode Character Name Index RFC 2781, UTF-16, an encoding of ISO 10646 Java.lang. String documentation, discussing surrogate handling.